Welcome to another episode of Tool Guys talking about vintage films. Now you know, because you've been watching us before, you know that we are big fans of uh, Gracie's Vintage Film Channel. Mm -hmm. And it's both YouTube Vintage Film Channel and her VintageFilmChannel.com. So we scan, we look through the old TV shows, the old movies, find something where it catches our eye. This week, it's Let's Make a Deal. Mm. And it's a classic. Uh, by the way, there it is, three doors. What's behind door number one? Are you going to take this? It's worth this. What's behind door number Anyway, the reason I want you to watch this particular episode on Vintage Film Channel is because it is the... It's not the original show. This is from 1963. But it is the original element of what makes this game show terrific. And, of course, the master is Monty Hall. Um, Monty Hall was a genius and a showman and a huckster all at the same time. There was nobody better <laughs> at getting these people to choose the door number three or door number... Are you sure you want door number two? You know, that kind of thing. He was terrific. And this episode shows you why the game show lasted all these years. It's and, still still on, and, it, and it's still on today, as a matter of fact. Yeah. It's on yeah. in 63, and it's had a couple of iterations. Um uh, I actually haven't watched it in a long time, but uh, any any of you who watch it will remember lots of different kind of game shows. But here he was. He's only had money stuffed in his pocket. Then yeah. he'd take out and say, okay, instead of $40, and of course the numbers are quite startling compared to today's numbers for any yeah. uh, 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 game show. Uh, but it was, a, it was a formula that worked. Uh, again, it's been on what fifty, sixty years in one form or another. It's it's apparently has a, a, a serious uh, uh, vitality uh, today that it did, didn't have for some years. It was there was a nighttime version of it a while, but the right. key, essence of it all was: uh, Do you want to trade what you have in your hand, the six hundred dollars or the four hundred dollars, for what's yeah. behind? And then if you you chose door number two, it could turn out to be a cow. With uh, a bucket <laughs> and uh, and a couple of bottles of buttermilk. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You choose door number three, and you, they open it up, and you know what? You would have been better off the, taking the, the twenty the, bucks that Monty had in his pocket. There was a cow, and yeah. also uh, you would win a, like a big prize would be a dining room table, right? Okay, or right. or a refrigerator, you know, for yeah. maybe well, four it, four or five hundred dollars. That was a big prize. It's it's always fun to watch these old shows because of the the difference in uh, values and things like that. You know, after all, we've had a lot of inflation since 1963. Right. <laughs> but in any event, you got you get to uh, you, you get to uh, just relive a, a part of our youth uh, of uh, the kind of stuff that we thought was really kind of cool. Some people got real excited about these things, and and yeah. uh, they had all these people dress and dress up. In uh, funny costumes, as are, they still do. Yeah, as but they still and, do. And the theory is that if you the more outrageous your costume, the yeah. more likely it would be, you'd be uh, uh, chosen to uh, uh, participate in the show. Right, right. Monty would would notice you because you dressed outlandishly or something. Yeah. Right. So I I don't have much more to say about this other than it was a it was a kick. Uh, you know what it. It's a classic show. It's still around. And this is proof of why it's so popular. That's it. Watch the original. It's so much fun. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.